channel and welcome to our review of the safest chainsaw replacement you're going to find, the Works 20 Volt Jaw Saw. Oh, Jaw Saw. Hmm. I kind of like that name. I don't know. Can we just call it Jaws? <laughs> uh, sure, Keith. Yeah, we, we can do that for you. Uh, so let's jump right into discussing why I like Jaws so much. Yeah, let's do that and dive into the pretty lofty claim about this tool being the safest chainsaw replacement. I think some videos should probably do the trick here. Watch as I cut up this uh, series of branches I had from the uh, rest of the tree I recently took down in my yard. Wow. I mean, sheesh. Okay, there is no way you could do that with a standard chainsaw. I, I, I lost count how many cuts you made in that period of time. So perhaps you could put that number on the screen for our audience, maybe. Yeah. Now you know what I'm talking about. And I'll for sure put that number up for everyone. Yeah, I sure do. And, you know, from looking at the operation of the device, about the only way you could mess it up and get hurt is to literally, you know, aim the jaws at yourself and engage the saw. Yeah, I suppose you could, uh, you know, drop it on yourself. But outside of that, I, I think you'd really have to work to, to injure yourself with it. Yeah. And I love how you can put the jaws right down to the ground over the branches and it just picks them up while they're sawing. I like that. I know. Not only is it a very safe saw, but it's also incredibly fast. Yeah, you know, the more I watch it, the more I'm mesmerized by this. It is too bad that it's only 20 volts, maybe. I, I bet it doesn't really have the ability to get through, you know, super thick branches, uh, nor could it last for very many cuts. Actually, Keith, um, you can cut through up to a four inch branch. And if you, uh, you know, have a lot of cutting to do, uh, they make up to an eight amp hour battery and uh, dual port quick charger. So, They've got you covered. Okay, so at least for the stuff on the ground and not too far up in the air, you've got a great cutting tool. Too bad it looks to be limited to about three feet or so. Well, not exactly. So you see, there's an optional five foot extension handle for the jaw saw, so they say it gives you up to a 12 foot reach. Holy crap! Man, you gotta be kidding me. I think I might have to tell Jen about this one. Um, or just get it and not tell her, I don't know. But that's awesome, that, that really is awesome. The funny thing is, I, I've had this tool for a very long time and, and thought it was good and all, but recently I had to remove four trees. Um, now, you know, the trees had a diameter too large for the jaw saw, but the limbs attached to the tree were not too large. Yeah, I think I can see where this is going. Because you had so many medium and small branches to chop down, it really ended up saving you a bunch of time, I'm assuming. It did. Now, I did have to buy a new battery because the old one from 2014 finally completely died. Um, I got a new four amp hour battery to replace the failed two amp hour, and boy, I'm glad I did. Yeah, I bet. Now, if I remember correctly, you cut down three of the trees a couple of weeks ago, and this last one just before recording this video. Uh, and in between those two kind of sessions is when you got this new battery, right? That's correct, Keith. Um, I'll tell you, I got a new appreciation for this tool, even though I've owned it for, you know, at least 10 years. Yeah, it's funny how that works sometimes. Uh, now, there are only a couple of small things right, that you didn't care for with this device, isn't that right? Yeah, the jaws can become, you know, clogged with material, but it's pretty easily uh, removed safely. Um, I had a small issue with the chain popping off, but I think it's because I wasn't really tightening it quite enough. Uh, and then, you know, chopping things up this last, uh, you know, tree, um, the largest of the four, I didn't actually have a single issue. So I, I think that was probably a, a user error. 
uh, issue with the chain popping off previously. Yeah, I believe you also stated in pull saw mode, it does get heavy at the maximum length, right? That's kind of expected, I suppose, with the long moment arm. Uh, so you might need to take some brief breaks here and there, right, to let your arms rest? Spot on. Now, I have to admit, this tool probably isn't for everyone, but if you have a decent number of trees and you have to keep up you know, on the maintenance, uh, this may be the device for you. Yeah, good point. I mean, you can use this on live trees for pruning you know, low-lying branches and whatnot uh, with the optional pull extension if you, if you need it. Now, Bruce was removing trees, but it can also just be used for pruning as well. Yeah, that's exactly what I originally purchased this to do. Um, I love that, you know, I can make fire pit uh, friendly firewood in short order. Um, I will put the uh, photo of the wood pile that uh, I cut, uh, you know, that I kept versus, uh, you know, disposing as yard waste, just, just as a frame of reference, how much work this, this tool did. Wow. Looks like we'll be sitting around the fire pit when I visit Nebraska this fall. Maybe we'll uh, make it a fireside chat with our audience. Well, that sounds like a great idea to discuss. Uh, let us know in the comments if you'd like to do a fireside chat uh, live stream. Uh, while you're at it, uh, you know, what kinds of topics would you like to discuss? Put that in the comments too. Yes, and a special thank you to Riverbank Lodge in Petersburg, Illinois for providing the beautiful setting for this video. And just to close, you know, it's obvious Bruce really loves this works jaw saw. Right, and we'd love it if you left a comment, like the video, and subscribed if you haven't done so already. We'd also love to have you join us again. So for Keith and Bruce, you'll see us on the next episode of Dad's Talk Tech.